Hi students, this is Manda, and today we are going to talk about the circle of fifths and we're going to practice some two octave major and minor scales. So the circle of fifths is just a way that we organize key signatures. Uh, key signatures are related to each other uh, because each key signature is a perfect fifth apart. So at the very top of our circle of fifths, we have no sharps and no flats in our key signature. So key signatures just tell us what scale the notes in our piece come from. So C major has no sharps and no flats. Uh, that means that it would be all of the white notes on the piano. Now, every major scale has a relative minor scale. I know that these fingerings or these notes are for violin, but even if you're a violist, that's okay. The important thing for you to remember is that scales are notes in a row in different patterns. So when we talk about a C major scale, our notes go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then they come back down in the same order. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. So that means that each note has a different amount of space between it. We have whole steps and we have half steps. Whole steps, when we're talking about the violin or the viola, just means that there's room for another finger or another note in between your notes. Half steps mean that your notes are close together. There's no room for another note in between them. A major scale follows the pattern whole step, whole step, half, whole step, whole step, whole step, half. Now, if we go backwards two more steps, so from C down to A, and we play exactly the same notes, no sharps and no flats from A to A instead of from C to C, we come up with our relative minor scale. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. We're using the same notes that we used in the C major scale, but because we're starting two notes lower, they're in a different pattern. The whole steps and half steps are in different places. So every key signature represents both a major and a minor scale. Now there are lots of different kinds of minor scales and we'll talk more about that in another video. For today, we're just going to talk about the natural minor scale. So no accidentals in our minor scale. Uh, the key signature with no sharps and no flats represents the C major scale and the A minor scale. So we're gonna go ahead and practice those. Now, for most of our scales today, I'm going to go ahead and play the viola. Uh, but violinists, I'll still be playing the same scale that you are, but sometimes I'll be an octave lower. For scales that we have some complicated shifts on, I'll switch back and forth between instruments. So we're gonna do a couple of things to make these scales easier to practice. First, I'm gonna set up a metronome tick at 60 beats per minute. So that's one beat every second. It's about how fast our heart rates go. So it's sort of an, a good internal metronome for all of us as well. Then I'm also going to go ahead and set up a C drone. Okay. So that drone is going to help you stay in tune as you play our scale. We're going to start with a two octave C major scale. So violinist, that means you're going to be starting with your third finger on the G string. Violist, you're starting on your open C string. We're playing no sharps and no flats, so that means violinist, you'll have a low first finger on your E string for F natural, low two on the D string for F natural, on the A string for C natural, and on the E string for G natural. Violist, that means we're starting on open C, and you're going to have a low two on the D string for F natural, and a low two for C natural on the A string. Here we go, let's play half notes for every note. Ready, go.
how it sounds. Let's go ahead and try it one more time, this time with quarter notes for every pitch. Ready, go. <laughs> scale has a relative minor scale. That minor scale uses the same notes, it has the same key signature, so it's no sharps and no flats. But because the scale starts in a different place, on a different pitch, the places where the whole steps and the half steps are different. So a minor scale sounds different, it's a different pattern than a major scale. The relative minor scale to C major is A minor. So we're still dealing with no sharps and no flats. The fingering patterns are basically the same, uh, but now we're going to start in a different place. So violinists, you're going to start with your first finger on the G string. And violists, you're going to start also with your first finger on the G string, but that does mean that you're going to have to shift up to third position. And then we're going to go ahead and play our top note of our scale, violists, with a harmonic on the A string. So up to third position, high fourth finger harmonic for your A at the top of the scale, and then back down again. So yet again, we're gonna get our metronome going at 60 beats per minute. This time, I'm gonna give you an A drone. Here we go. Let's play quarter notes for every pitch. Ready, go. metronome. So C major and A minor at the, are at the very top of our circle of fifths. Now, if we start working our way around the circle of fifths and we go up five steps or a fifth from C, C, D, E, F, G, we arrive at G. As we get there, we add one sharp. As we go up a fifth, we add a sharp. Our sharp is F. Sharps always go in the same order. As we add sharps, they are always F, C, G, D, A, E, B. There are a couple of different mnemonic devices that you can use to remember that. Uh, the one that I learned growing up was um, fat cats go down alleys eating birds. But the one that I love the most is actually Father Christmas gives dad an electric blanket because flats always go in the opposite order which if you're using fat cats go down alleys eating birds is birds eating alleys down go cats fat. But if you use Father Christmas gives dad an electric blanket, then the flats are blanket explodes and dad gets cold feet. So our first sharp either way is F sharp. So G major has one sharp, which is F sharp. Uh, the relative minor is E minor. E minor also has one sharp which is F sharp. So the fingering patterns are the same on your instrument. Uh, on the violin, you're going to need a low second finger on the A string for C natural and a low second finger on the E string for G natural. And on the viola, you're going to need a high third finger on the C string for F sharp and a low second finger on the A string for uh, C natural. All right, so we have all of our notes are going to be natural except for F, which is going to be a sharp. So we're gonna go ahead and play both of these scales. We'll get our metronome going again. We're gonna start with G major. Here's our G major drone. All right, here we go. Ready, go.
relative minor to G major is E minor. All right, so here's an E drone. Let's go ahead and try our E major scale. Remember, we're still dealing with only one sharp. That sharp is F sharp. Everything else will be natural. Ready, go. circle of, of fifths. So we started off with C major, which is at the top relative to A minor, no sharps or flats in the key signature. Then when we went up a fifth, we ended up with G major. If we go up another fifth, G, A, B, C, D, and add another sharp, we end up at D major. D major has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So if we're doing Father Christmas gives dad an electric blanket, that's Father Christmas, F sharp and C sharp, everything else will be natural. The relative minor is B minor. B minor still has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, but of course, because it's a slightly different pattern, because we're starting in a different place, your minor key sounds different from your major key. So we'll go ahead and play a two octave D major scale, and then we'll play a two octave B major scale. So here's a D drone. Here's our metronome at 60. Here we go. Here's D major. And ready, go. So we still have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Here we go. One, two, B major, three, oh sorry, B minor, go. circle of fifths on the sharp side. So we started at C major, we went up a fifth to G, which gave us one sharp, F sharp, then we went up another fifth to D major, which gave us two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So if we go up a fifth from D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, <clears throat> we land at A major. A major has three sharps, so now if we're doing Father Christmas gives dad an electric blanket, it's Father Christmas gives F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. A major is relative to F sharp minor, which is a very, very fun key. Uh, both of them have all three sharps. All right, so we're gonna get our A drone going. And then we'll get our metronome going at 60 beats per minute again. Here is our A major scale. Ready, go.
relative major to, or I'm sorry, the relative minor to A major is F sharp minor. So here's F sharp. Here we go. Oh, no, not F sharp. There's F sharp. Maybe. There we go. Here's our F sharp drum. F minor, ready, go. Uh, the sharp side of our circle of fifths. Now we can keep going, but keys with one, two, and three sharps and one, two, and three flats are the keys that we play in the most often. So now we're going to go ahead and head the opposite direction around the circle of fifths. So when we start at C at the top and we go down a fifth, we end up with and just like we added sharps in the same order, Father Christmas gives Dad an electric blanket, we add flats in the opposite order. Blanket explodes and Dad gets cold feet. So the first flat key is F, and we have one flat, which is B flat. So here are our, our fingerings. We're gonna go ahead and get an F drone going. And we'll get our metronome going at 60 beats per minute. Okay, and here is an F major scale. Remember, all of your notes are natural except for B, which is a flat. Ready, go. D drone. Let's play our D major scale. Ready? continue moving to the flat side of our circle of fifths, we go down another fifth to B flat. All right, so now we're going to add an additional flat. We already had B flat, our second flat would be E flat, blanket explodes. So now we have two flats, B flat and E flat for B flat major. The relative minor is G minor. Either way, we have two flats, B flat and E flat, and everything else is natural. So here are our fingering charts and our music. We're going to start with B flat. There's our B flat drone. Here's our metronome set at 60. B flat major, ready, go.
switch to G minor. Here's our G drone. We still have two flats, B flat and E flat. Ready, go. So we'll continue moving around our circle of fifths. We started at C major at the top, which is relative to A minor. And then as we started moving towards the flat side, going down a fifth, we went to F major, which has one flat, B flat, and is relative to D minor. Then we added another flat as we went down another fifth, and we landed at B flat major, which has two flats, B flat and E flat. Now we're going to go down one more fifth. Uh, and add one more flat. So now we have three flats. They are B flat, E flat, and A flat. Our key is E flat major, which is relative to C minor. Here are our fingering charts and our music. So we'll go ahead and start with E flat major. There's our E flat drone. Here's our metronome at 60 beats per minute. Remember, we have three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. Ready, go. sounds a little bit different because we're starting in a different place, which changes the pattern. So here is our C drone. Our metronome is set at 60 beats per minute. Here's C minor. Ready, go. Uh... drone, we'll get rid of our metronome. So that takes us about halfway around both the sharp side and the flat side of our circle of fifths. Of course, you can keep going all the way down to where they meet at the bottom, but for today, we're just going to go ahead and stick with these scales that we've already done, up to three sharps and three flats, both major and minor scales. So remember, the circle of fifths is just a way to organize key signatures. And scales, or key signatures, represent the scale that we're going to use to play whatever piece you're working with that has a certain key signature. So if you can learn to read key signatures and think about them in terms of scales, it'll make everything go so much more easily in your sight reading and in your daily practice. So scale practice and making sure that you understand key signatures is always a good use of your time. If you would like the PDFs of all of the uh, scales and fingering patterns that I've used you to uh, shown you today, feel free to uh, send me a text message at this phone number, or you can get in touch with, at, with me at mandadegan at gmail.com. Uh, feel free to reach out, and I'd be happy to send those along to you. Also, watch for more videos talking about more minor scales and more scales and three octave scales if you want to get really exciting. Thanks for watching today.